and welcome to our lesson on solving equations involving fractions. So we're going to begin with question A. We have A over 5 plus 3 is equal to 7. So to solve this equation, we're going to keep the left hand side balanced with the right hand side. We do this by applying the same operation to both sides. So at the end of the equation, we're going to be left with a single value of A. So we're going to move the positive 3 to the other side of the equation. We're doing this by making it equal to 0, by taking away 3 from both sides. And by doing it to both sides, the equation remains balanced. So with 3 and the negative 3 will cancel. So we have A over 5 will equal 7 take away 3, which is 4. Now, a over 5 is the fraction bit of this equation, and we need to understand what this means. All it means is, this is a divided by 5. A fraction is a division. So in this case, we need to do the opposite of dividing by 5 to both sides, which is times in both sides by 5. Because 5 divided by 5 will make 1. So we're left with a is equal to 4 times 5, which is 20. We can check that this works by substituting a back into the equation. We have 20 divided by 5 plus 3, which should equal 7. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 plus 3 does equal 7. So a is equal to 20. Okay, for question b. The first thing we're going to do is to keep the equation balanced. And this denominator of 2 means it is a division of 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, because that's the opposite of dividing by 2. And these will cancel. So I'm left with 5x minus 1 is equal to 2 lots of 3x plus 1. So now I can expand the bracket out. 2 times 3 is equal to 6x. And then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now I'm going to move the 5x to the other side. So I'm left with x on the right hand side. I do this by taking away 5x from both sides. So these will cancel. So I'm left with negative 1 is equal to 6x take away 5x, which is x plus 2. And finally, I take away 2 from both sides, these will cancel, so I'm left with x is equal to negative 3. Do you want to try question C yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, to begin with, I'm going to keep the equation balanced. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out this division of 4 on the right hand side by multiplying everything by 4. So now I have 4y over 6 plus 1 times 4, which is 4, is equal to, and these will cancel, y minus 4. Now I'm going to multiply everything by 6 to cancel out this division of 6. So I have, these will cancel, 4y plus 24 will equal 6 lots of y minus 4. I'll expand the brackets out. So we have 4y plus 24 is equal to 6y minus 24. Next, I'm going to move the 4y to the other side by taking away 4y from both sides. And these will cancel. So I'm left with 24 will equal 2y minus 24. I'm going to move these negative 24 to the other side by adding 24 to both sides. 
So 48 will equal 2y. I can divide both sides by 2 to cancel out here. So I'm left with 24 is equal to y. Okay, do you want to try a question D if you've tried it already? By pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. The first thing that comes to my mind is that I am subtracting two fractions with different denominators. So I will make them a common denominator. I do this by writing both fractions over the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3, which is 15. So I multiply x over 5 by 3 because 5 times 3 will make 15 and I multiply x over 3 by 5 so I have 3x over 15 minus 5x over 15 and that is equal to 2 so I can write that over one denominator 3x minus 5x over 15 is equal to 2 3x minus 5x is negative 2x over 15 is equal to 2. I can multiply both sides by 15. And these will cancel. So I have negative 2x will equal 30. I can divide both sides by negative 2. And these will cancel. So I'm left with x is equal to 30 divided by negative 2, which is negative 15. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching and take care.